Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Nine Miles Review of the ASEAN TV product called the Wonder Wallet. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my videos, go to patreon.com slash nine miles. Uh, I got a review coming up, keeping it a secret right now, but it's actually one of the most expensive products I've reviewed on this channel. So that'll be really cool. So subscribe for that to make sure you get you see that video. Um, that's coming up within the next month. So on the review. This is the Wonder Wallet. It holds 24 cards, flexible design, fits the slimmest purses and clutches, RFID blocking, and it's made with genuine leather. Uh, patent is, patented design lays cards out like a photo album, and it says it's half the thickness of a wallet. So this is actually a really popular product online. It could be due that people need a wallet, uh, maybe it's the RFID blocking. Um, I guess I'm glad to see it's actually made of leather. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so here's the Wonder Wallet. I'm gonna open it up, see how this thing looks. All right, so it just comes with this wallet inside the box. Um, so it says it's half the thickness of a wallet, but it's huge. This product is gigantic. I'm gonna get my wallet and compare it to this. And you can see this thing is gigantic. Uh, I'm gonna try to put it in my pocket and you know it does fit in my pocket but it's a huge square I'm gonna get I'm gonna film that um, let's see if you can get see this you see how it's there's my pocket it's this huge square in my pocket um, so you got to decide whether you want that or not as opposed to a smaller size wallet but here it is I'm just gonna open it up and you know there's a you can hold money in here um and then you know uh let's see how this fits cards it says it fits um 24 cards all right so i put 24 cards into this thing and it's even bigger now so here are all the cards right here and i actually put some money in it too just to give you an idea of what this would actually be like um business cards i don't have 24 credit cards so I can't really uh, do it that way, but business cards I think will work, and uh, you know they aren't. Uh, credit cards are a little bit thicker. Um, I am impressed by the design. It's nice leather and uh, nice plastic holders here, and you know the inside with the with the I don't know what kind of material that is, but just the material is pretty nice. Um, looks well constructed. It's generally as good as quality as what you'll get find it on a normal wallet. You know, normal kind of. Uh, middle of the line wallet. So I'm just gonna put this in my pocket because I think it'll give you a good idea how big this thing is. All right, so check this out. I have the wallet in my pocket. Um, it is thinner than in my previous wallet, as they, they say. It says, I don't know if it's, if, let's see here what it says, half the thickness of your old wallet. I don't know if it's necessarily half the thickness when it's full, maybe when it's not full, but it does take up a lot of pocket space. It's wider, but it's a little bit thinner. So you gotta decide whether that's something you want. Um, most wallets don't hold this many uh, cards. All right, so do I recommend the Wonder Wallet? The answer is surprisingly yes. I think this is a well-constructed wallet. It's made of genuine leather. It looks good. It's as good quality as you know an average wallet that you'd find in the store. But for the RFID protection, that would be what the one downside because I was reading reviews on Amazon. Some people say it works, others say uh, this is their quote, it's bogus. Um, you know, company key cards, one guy said it's, it didn't scan, another review said it did scan. So I don't know if there's a metal mesh in the lining of this or what. It's definitely gonna work best when it's closed um, because it's just plastic and it looks like leather to me. Um, I don't see where the RFID protection comes in. Um, and also it's gonna take up, you know, it's wider, it's more space in your in your, uh, your jean pocket, um, but it is thinner, so that's a that's a plus for some people. Um, it worked very well in a purse or a clutch, as the um, you know the directions on the box said. So, kind of on the fence. I don't think it's for me, but I do recommend it just based on this is a lot better quality than I expected, and I bought it for less than ten bucks. If you can find it for less than ten bucks, definitely recommend it. If this is something for you, I don't think it'll be right for everybody. Uh, but don't count on the RFID blocking. Um, it's it just doesn't seem like it's proven. 
Um, it's, it seems like, based on the reviews, it's gone one way or the other. Some people it works, some people it doesn't. So it's not 100% consistent. All right, thanks for watching my videos. And if you like them, subscribe. Go to patreon.com slash nine malls if you want to support them. And that review coming soon that I'm excited about of uh, one of the most expensive products I've ever reviewed on this channel. So that will be really cool. It's actually a cool product. It's not you know an, a common product that is reviewed online. So it's, it's kind of cool. All right, well, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.